Wednesday, May 31st, the Bremerton Wildcats take on Nemesis Basketball United in Bremerton Park and Rex Spring League Basketball at the Brick Palace. The last meeting saw Basketball United upsetting the Cats 73-72. The Wildcats need a win over United to keep their division championship hopes alive. Will Basketball United beat the Cats again? Or will the Cats get revenge over United to even the season series? Find out next week on the ISBNSports.com Game of the Week. Tip-offs at 6 p.m. Brought to you by Manette Day Spa in Bremerton. All right, and welcome back to the Brick Palace here, whatever it knows, the Bremerton Park and Rec Center. And at halftime, it is the Wildcats 32, the Suquamish Tribe 21. Uh, so, I, uh, you know, I'm going to be uh, multitasking, get some, most of the scoring down. But I know uh, Adrian Harper having a good uh, first half. He had 11 points on a 50 in the first half. You see how he is with that knee starting in the second half. And he is on the floor for Suquamish Tribe. And uh, I want to thank the people that are coming by to at least duck out of the camera's way. Uh, Dave Hinch out to my right. He's doing a nice job at, as he does all the time. Here's Pondelick, steps back. He's up from 17 feet out to mark, no good. There's VOP with the rebound. He hands off to Williams. Speeds out of backcourt on the fly. Goes up coast to coast as Williams who scores for the Wildcats, giving them the lead. 34 to 21 here in the second quarter or second half of action. Pondelec dumps it down underneath. The Harper goes up. He is fouled by Amir Padded. The College Ranger had his first year underneath his belt here for the Rangers. There's this last season keeping in shape, playing summer ball for the Wildcats and Jim Ford too. He's lost a lot of weight. Pondelec went bounds off to our left. Inside the whip shot, turns left, this is the shot, may have been blocked on the play by Patty. Here comes the, the Wildcats. Biofi elevated from the outside angle for three. He drills the, the triple for Biofi. Seven points for him. 36 to 20, 37 rather, to 21. 16 point lead, the biggest lead for the Wildcats tonight. Chikiti for three, back iron no good. Up shot with the offensive rebound. Gets it to Pondelick, just left of the free throw line for 17 feet and hits. Over the course stack, excuse me, with the bucket. Jim's lead down to 14. Long triple, Deontay Dixon straight away for the ripple, the triple for Deontay Dixon. Wildcats are 40 now, 17 point lead, and their turnover by the Quamish Tribe. And now the referees will talk things over. And and it is a three. So 40 to 23 just score. Wildcats held the, the tribe to just two points in the last two minutes of the first half by scoring eight themselves. Little to help separate themselves uh, at halftime, 32 to 21. Dixon step back three, off the mark. Shot up shot with the rebound. Beats out of backcourt. It's a race between him and Pat. Jumps back underneath, trying to get it underneath. Ball picked off by Dixon. Goes against Jimmy King. Nice block by King. Here's Biofi to get the loose ball, however. Back in on top to Pat, and he snares the pass from Biofi. Spins in, up fakes, kicks out for Williams for three. Got it. Turn to Williams. The ripple and the triple for Williams. Wildcats lead it now by 20. Their biggest lead of the night with 17 26 to go in the first half. Second half. King for three. Or Harper, excuse me, for three. Guilty on the play. 43 26. Williams reloads. Falls his shot. Ball tapped up. Good track it down. Get out to Gursky. To Dixon. You don't leave Dixon alone. He'll. Greater every time the Arte takes in the ripple and the triple. 46 to 26. Feed back up by 20. And a turnover on the play by the Sequamish Drive. Sequamish Drive getting a little rattled by the Wildcats now. Williams. Ball jabbed away. Tracks it down as he tried to get it. The pattern picked off by Upshaw. He goes coast to coast, the left hand runner and hits, Jaden Upshaw. 
46 to 28. The Tribe have some work to do, a long way to go in a short time to get there. Here's Patton back the other way and scoring. 48 to 28. Here's Harper responding with a deuce. 48 to 30, 18 point lead. Taylor for three, off the mark. Upshot with a rebound. Speeds out of backcourt. One thing we have not seen is Harper for three. No good. Ball tapped out to Williams. Skips pass underneath the pad. He'll go out behind the through circle. And a three ball will go in and out. Here's Corsak for three. Got it. David Corsak elevates and hits. 48-33, back down to a 15-point bulge for the, for the Wildcats. There's Dixon to Williams. Fakes right, goes left, goes in, too strong. Rebound pulled down, however, by Veofi. Out on top to Dixon, and, and we have a whistle on the play. And a little frustration coming out for the drive. One thing we have is, was going to mention a moment ago, here's Taylor for three. Here's Pad going in from the Raptors to try to pack it down on the putback. Out for Veofi, he elevates for three and hits. Tiddy Veofi has third three of the night. 51 to 33, and he's back up to 18 with 14 minutes to go. Just under 15 minutes to go. He steps it down to Corsak, packing up against Dixon. Goes up, needs a short, Dixon will pull down the rebound. Long pass down, Cicchini picks it off. Then hounded by Padden, foul by Padden. Words between Takiti and Padden. And Tyreek Nance will step back in. Corsak will step out for Suquamish Tribe. Padden, Williams, Viofi, Dixon, and Taylor on the floor for the Wildcats. Upside drives in to Padden. And uh, he goes up a little. He took in one in the wrong spot. Shot off the mark by Williams, there's the Oakley for the putback. Fifty-three, thirty-three. King for two. Fifty-three, thirty-five. Here's Dixon. Quick against defense and that sticks back for three. In and out, no good. Harper with the rebound. Quick out of the pass to Chiquiti. Drives in, coast to coast, there's the window, and can't get the lane to fall through. Williams pull down the rebound and come back out on the run to the pad and step back for three. Arcing three, off the mark. Upshot with the rebound for the Tribe. Down by 20, got a lot of work to do. Third, under 14 minutes to go here in the, the second half. Nance for three, off the mark. Ball tapped out, off up to hands. Wildcast basketball. And we have a timeout on the floor. We're back, 30 seconds, Wildcats 53, Tribe 35. You're listening to Wildcats Basketball and ISPSports.com. Wednesday, May 31st, Bremerton Wildcats take on Nemesis Basketball United in Bremerton Park and Red Spring League Basketball at the Brick Palace. The last meeting saw Basketball United upsetting the Cats 73-72. The Wildcats need a win over United to keep their division championship hopes alive. Will Basketball United beat the Cats again? Or will the Cats get revenge over United to even the season series? Find out next week on the ISBNSports.com Game of the Week. Tip-offs at 6 p.m. Brought to you by Manette Day Spa in Bremerton. All right, that should be a dandy as well. The Tribe beat the Wildcats last time, but right now the Wildcats seeking revenge up by 20. And next week they'll be seeking revenge as they heard this in that clip right there that uh, Rasmussen United beat them last time. So Wildcats, uh, they beat the Columbus Tribe tonight. They'll have split the season series with the Tribe. And uh, I'm not sure what happens if they, in, they all end up in a tie. If, who will get the nod as champion. Find out those answers for you for next Wednesday. Right now, Wildcats have 13 minutes to finish off the drive, leading it by 20, 53 to 35, up by 18. It's at North Mason Education right there. There's Dixon elevating and missing the shot. Harper will pull down the rebound. Dumps it out to Upshaw, comes out of backcourt, far side the floor. 
to King. 16 footer off to Mark by Pondelet. Dad will come out of backcourt. Speeds in. Fires one to Paofi on the baseline. Kicks out to Dixon. Now to Patton. Taylor elevates and hits the triple. Kanye Taylor showtime. The ripple in the triple. 56 to 35. Here's Jimmy King elevating and hitting the triple. 56 to 38. Here's uh, Dixon. Rick gets a defense and dance. Get a pick from Kanye Taylor. The pick and slip had him open for a moment. Looking for a shot, though, shaking and baking and firing and swirls in and out, no good. Ball tapped out over to Amir Padded. He'll step back behind the circle. Amir Padden high steps out of backcourt as he dreams to triple Amir Padded. King. 58 to 37. Guess it was just a deuce. Thought it was a three. His foot was on the line, but he hits it. A big shot, 11 minutes to go in the second half. Three by Harper, and it drops. Adrian Harper. 58 to 40. Inside to Tanner. Up fix, gets Harper off his feet, now turns, spins, and fires, leaves it short. Hondelik with the rebound. Long pass down and Ants. He lays it up and in. 58 to 42. Lead down to 16. Tribe in their last win. Came from behind for that. Dixon. De Williams. Up fakes. Gets Vance off his feet. Goes by him and elevates and hits the triple. 61. The 42, Wildcat City on all cylinders tonight. Upshot, in and out, no good. There's Dixon with another rebound. Just over 10 minutes to go. Kanye Taylor, he'll elevate. Missed a shot. Upshot with the rebound. And pass to Nance. He'll go up and scrolls it in with the left hand. He is fouled on to play. Nice shot by Nance. 61 to 44. And Nance shooting one at the free throw line for the Scarmouth Tribe. For the uh, Tribe, just can't get all their shots to drop tonight. And the Wildcats are hitting everything from outside. Hitting everything they see. Here's the miss. Hit it with the rebound. Flips it to Deontay Dixon, the human pogo stick. That was uh, broadcast Bremerton basketball, which I'm still doing. His uh, godfather, Mike Kaiser, I looked behind me, he was intently watching what I was doing. You know, he's wondering what he was doing. Here's uh, Padded. Elevates and hits, Amir Padded. And he wanted to learn how to be a broadcaster. 64 to 44, underneath. Well, his pond that couldn't get the reverse to drop. Williams with a rebound is fouled by Pondelik. He'll shot out of backcourt. And so, after a year of kind of ignoring him, the next year I kind of go, yeah, all right, you can come stay with me at a broadcast. And he found me to help him what he was doing right, what was doing wrong, how to improve, do this, do that. So I did. And then brought him in to do a year with the Blue Jackets broadcasting and was amazed of how good he did and how much he had improved. And uh, we have built a relationship uh, over the years from that little story there. Kanye Taylor, shaking and baking, look for room. Good defense by Upshot, the Smith, the pad, and he walks with it before he gets a shot off. Wildcats lead at 64 to 44. Wildcats win, we'll probably get in Tinny, Biofi, and uh, Amir Padden our players of the game. Here's the offensive rebound pulled down by Pondelik. He elevates and hits for short range. Lead back down to 18, 64 to 46. Seven minutes to go here in the 
at a contest. Dixon and Wildcats are used some clock. On top the pad, working his upshot. Down to Taylor. Cut out there by the defense of the, the try, but elevate anyways. Leaves a short ball tapped up. Upshot with another rebound for the try. There's Nance for three. Leaves it short. Nobody there for the offensive boards for the drive. Another defensive rebound for Deontay Dixon, and he'll use some time coming out of backcourt, trying to salt this one away. A little over seven minutes to go. Dixon drives in, hangs in the air. Bumped by Nats, fouled by Nats, misses the shot, and he'll shoot two for the Wildcats. Well, as I mentioned, basketball you had coming up next. No games last week. Somebody had COVID. I guess they were actually recovered, so we're here this week. We had a couple weeks ago, McLeod's beat Lulu squad 78 to 65. Tribe beat United 59 to 51. So that was their second win over United. So United out of the race for the championship. Harper for three. And if the Wildcats win today, they'll mean these two teams have tied at one apiece in the spring league action. Again, I don't know how the tiebreaker worked for the league championship. Do they or maybe they'll have co-champions? I don't know. Here's uh, Adrian Harper. All to be answered next week. Harper elevates and does not draw iron. 65-46. Here's Smith. 67-46 with five minutes to go. Upshot, short. Tries to save it from going out of bounds, can't do so. And the Wildcats, you can hear in the background, starting to celebrate a little bit. They think it's 67-46. Dixon for a long three. From Park Avenue, hits the shot. 70 to 46. John Tate takes it from long range. Up fake and driving in, a little scoop runner. And hitting was David Corsat. Five minutes to go. 70 to 48, Dixon again from long range. Elevates, does not get that one to fall down. Again, there's uh, David Corsak, the ripple and the triple for Corsak. Seventy to fifty-one. Patton, where he gets Nance at the ball, he swipes it out from behind. Interest pass goes to Dixon out to Taylor. Patton will leap up and get the off with the rebound. He will drive in, scoop point up, and swirls off. No good. Dixon with the rebound, turn, reload, and fire, in and out, no good. Corsak with the rebound, two up shot, to Harper, to Nance, back to Harper, two up shot, long range three, splash, Jader and up shot. The ripple and the triple for up shot. Back within 16, but just four minutes to go here in the contest. Here's Dixon. Pattern dribble to Taylor. Can't handle the pass, he'll retrieve it. Works against Corsak. Rages, misses the shot, but there's another off as a rebound. At that time by Kimo Ritomi. Out to Smith. Driving in is Smith. The right hand, the left hand, off the window and in by Italia Smith. Jimmy King. To Nance, out on top to Harper. The rub shot, rather. Right? Still reload, and missed the shot. The team over Tommy with another rebound. Patton, splash. Amir Patton, he has been hot all night long. And he drains the chip up from outside. 75 to 54. King for three. In and out, no good. The Tommy gets a rebound. Patton, he'll step back again for three. No good. 
Hemo Bertomi will swoop up and get down the rebound. Out to Patton again. In and out. Korshak with the rebound. Long pass down to Nance. And a good handling. He throws it in. Right to the Wildcats. Alley oop off the mark. No good. Here's Giante Dixon trying to pack one down. From a long range. Here's Jimmy King for three. 35-57. Two minutes to go here in the contest. Wildcats are going to even the season series with the Columbus Tribe. And Taylor uses the left hand and scores. 77-57. Two minutes to go. Jimmy King goes up. And coming in and maybe deflecting the shot was Amir Padded. Foul called. Somewhere along the line before this game's over, it, this is about the time you see Kanye Tater or Amir Padden drive the baseline and, right. and slip into a slam jam. Here's uh, Jimmy King, free throw, no good. I guess the replay on ISPSports.com. Just click on our YouTube page. We'll have that up for you about an hour or so after the game is over. Or hey, guess just watch it on Kevin Mack Facebook page or you're listening to right now. Gave himself the trouble. Here's Smith for three. No good. Harper with the rebound. Denance. The left hand can't even fall. There's Harper with the, the putback and scores. Harper with a good game. 77 to 59. One minute to go here in the contest. Dixon. He's a short upside. Denance. Look out. Goes up. And he's fouled on the play by Kanye Taylor. He goes, no, 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 no. Not going to be dunking on me here in the Brick Palace. Nance will shoot two, force the Kwame's try. But next week, it is Basketball United. Right here at the Brick Palace. And that game time is... At a good time, 6 o'clock. <laughs> that should be the last... Uh, game of the year uh, in spring league play. Dance. Just the, the free throws. It's one of the two. 77 to 60. 77 62. And here's Kanye Tanner. There's a rainbow one up off the mark. Ball off the Wildcats, out of bounds. Tribal inbounds. And the Harper. Elevate for three. Nothing but the bomb. And it's a ripple and the triple for Adrian Harper. That knee must be feeling better. He'll be tossing some ice on that after the game is over, I'm sure. 65. And how about that? Long range. Bucket, 80 to 65. Harper again, this leaves that one short. And that's the game. The Wildcats, 80. Suquamish Drive, 65. Your final here from the Brick Palace. See you next week, 6 o'clock, right here from the Bremerton Park and Rec Center. It's the Wildcats taking on the Basketball United on the ISPNSports.com Game of the Week. Until then, Key Mac reminding you, the road to success is always under construction. See you next week. It's Basketball United and the Wildcats right here on your home for Wildcats basketball, ISPNSports.com. Dissemination, reproduction, or transmission of this copyrighted broadcast without prior written consent from ISP and Sports is strictly prohibited.